Hi, I'm Irving, and I'm still an Adamaniac. For new adventures of Batman! We haven't seen Mr. Freeze in quite a while. Let's peek in on him. I'm a huge fan of the James Bond movies, but one question came to my mind in almost every one of them. How does the villain build something like this and nobody notices? From Dr. No on, we saw global level villains with huge technological complexes and equipment where most anybody should be able to see them and nobody knew it was there until 007 blew it up. How'd they do that? I have the same question here. How do you build something that big that looks like a set for the Jetsons on a mountain right outside Gotham City and nobody saw or asked any questions? It's like a heat wave in here. Turn the weather conditioner to blizzard, Professor Frost. Oh, yes, Mr. Freeze, you got it. <laughs> I have news for him. If he wants it as cold as possible, set it to a clear night after a blizzard. If you live in cold country, you know what I'm talking about. The snow can actually help hold off the intense cold, and in a blizzard, the real danger isn't the outside temperature, it's wind chill. But even that can't compare to a night after all that has happened, when there's not a cloud in the sky to help hold in the day's warmth. That's the kind of cold that goes right through you. But I'm not sure cold clear night after a blizzard will fit on his dial. Is there a better way to say it? That works. Today, the Gotham City Police announced the capture of the Riddler and the Joker. This means that nine of the ten most wanted criminals are now in jail. Only Mr. Freeze remains free. That's right, buddy. Jail is one cooler I want no part of. Shortly after their failed attempt to rob Gotham City, Olga, Queen of the Cossacks, dumped Egghead and took up with Mr. Freeze. Freeze was enamored enough with her that he even picked up her accent. He now insists he was Russian all along. However, authorities say they should have a fourth-rate felon like Freeze behind bars in no time. Ooh, that frosts me. Well, what are you going to do, Mr. Freeze? I am going to pull off the caper of the century. Watch the caper. <laughs> you are my assistant. You tell me. He's super angry, you can tell by the way his voice never changes. The N-1000, fastest, most powerful submarine in the world, will arrive in Gotham City tonight on the first leg of its maiden voyage around the world, underwater. I've got it, Mr. Freeze. Achoo. Got what? A cold? Well, that too. His idea is to steal that submarine. Using it as a base, he can pull off jobs all over the world and not get caught. Wasn't it a happy coincidence that it just happened to be the next story? Are you sure this new invention of yours will work, Frost? Oh, sure. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure, Mr. Freeze, but I want to test it first. It better work, or I'll have you defrosted. Oh, I'd love to. I mean, brrr, uh, yes, sir. What is Frost's great new invention? A freeze ray. Something Mr. Freeze has been using since the very beginning. I guess the difference is this one can freeze an entire lake. But didn't he do that in the last series? It worked. My freezing ray worked. Soon, the whole world will be mine. Big deal. Thank you, Frost. I knew I couldn't be the only one who doesn't think ruling the world is such a great idea. Achoo! Gesundheit. What? I said, how's your cold? Lousy. And you're... Uh, uh. Uh, is it? Uh, Helping any. What? I said, there's the bat signal. Turn the motor off, Dick. I used to have some planes like that. You stop the motor by sticking your finger in the propeller. No, it doesn't hurt. Those things don't generate enough torque to do any damage. Bruce can probably afford to build it as an RC plane, but there weren't too many of those in 1977. The model planes I grew up with could fly and you controlled them with a handle 
connected to two long monofilaments that operated the flaps so the plane could go up and down. Your friend fired it up, gave it a good toss to get it started, and you stood there like this with it, following it around in a circle. If you were really careful, you could make it do a loop, but when it came out of it, your lines were twisted, so you had to flip the handle over real quick before your plane did the most common trick those planes like to do, which was commonly known as the nosedive. Holy ice cubes, Batman. It sure is cold all of a sudden. Batman, look! It's Mr. Freeze's Coldsmobile. Coldsmobile was established in 1897 by Ransom E. Colds as a way to produce automobiles already infused with the rhinovirus. Holy out of control, Batman! He's done that to them something like 19 times over the years and they never learn. Robin, activate the de-icer. No, I stand by my statement. If he'd really learned something, he would have had that running already. It's enough. Freeze gets away. I have pinpointed a possible location for Mr. Freeze's hideout, Batman. Hail, oh great bat computer, all-seeing, all-knowing, all-powerful. Command me, master. It's found a spot on top of a mountain that always has a cloud around it. That sort of thing is caused by a pocket of really cold air. Well, let's get up there. We've got to get our hands on that freezing ray or we don't stand a chance of stopping them. We'll use the batarangs. Right. Uh, 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 achoo! Right. Freeze, freeze. To paraphrase Tuco, if you're going to throw it, throw it. Don't talk. Time to get their lasers out and melt the door. Let's go, Freeze. I'm afraid you're the ones that are going. Hit it, Frost! And every villain has one of those. Acme sells them in bulk. I've done it, Frost. I've done it! Again, big deal. You did that to them the first time you met way back in 1959 when you were still calling yourself Mr. Zero. Mr. Freeze sets the bar way too low. They're off to steal the submarine, and he'll take Robin along just for kicks. You'll never get away with this, Freeze. We are not only going to get away with this dear boy, we're going to get away with you, too. Holy bird nappy. You mean... I mean, you're going to be our special guest on this little cruise. But what about Batman? Oh, I'm going to let him cool it for a while. <laughs> get it? <laughs> And since Frost is such a lousy conversationalist, he cut a hole so Robin can talk to him. Now, he can't expand his chest to breathe, so I'm not sure how he's talking. And I'll bet he really needs to pee. Does Mr. Freeze live here? Achoo! Oh, boy! That thing he knocked over just happens to land on the cold chamber thing and it starts spitting and sparking. Batman! You wouldn't find that trick in the Crime Fighter's manual, Batmite, but it worked. As if either of them has ever read the manual. It's a simple matter for Frost's machine to freeze the guards around the sub so they can climb in and take off. The guy who left the keys in it was arrested. You crooks are kidding yourselves. Batman and the entire Navy are going to be all over you like bees on honey. They'll have to find us first. And that's going to be rather difficult with the entire ocean frozen over. <laughs> he froze the entire Atlantic and half the Pacific with icebergs forming in the Indian Ocean. All shipping commerce suddenly stopped and the world's economy collapsed. In the resulting chaos, nations all over the world looked for a savior, a leader who could bring order out of the confusion. Such a leader did indeed arise and he led the world into a new golden age. He was known simply as the leader. Batman, I know this bat boat can outrun anything afloat, but how do we catch a submarine? A good question, Batmite. Here's a good answer, the Bat-Sub. 
We saw it in action when Batman was dealing with Professor Bubbles, so Batmite should already know about it. Then again, we don't know what short-term memory is like on his world. Batman! I see it. Hang on, Batmite. Oh, that was a little too close for comfort, huh, Batmite? If you say so, Batman. Freeze says we've earned a vacation, and he knows just the place. Steer on a heading of 27.30 degrees. That's almost straight north. I think I know where he's heading. Oh, aye, aye, sir, aye, aye. <laughs> what vacation paradise are we headed for? The North Pole. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to cry. Yep. And Frost is overjoyed, you can tell. Why don't you make it easy on yourself, Mr. Freeze, and give up peacefully? Sorry, Batman, but I am going to have to give you the cold shoulder. <laughs> Yipes! It was nice of him to leave a hole in it just big enough for the bat sub. He makes several more such barriers for Batman to steer around and eventually bonk into. I never knew the great Batman could sink so low. <laughs> Hold it. I'm turning this sub around, and then you turkeys are going to help me rescue Batman. Move the freeze ray out of his reach. <laughs> Told you. He escapes in that mini-sub and Freeze can't stop him because he can't open that door he froze. Robin is off to rescue Batman. Holy can openers! As if Batman needs rescuing. A good screw is all he needs. Just think, Professor Frost, with that submarine as our getaway car, we'll steal a trillion dollars. Then we can retire here for the rest of our lives. I'm sure that prospect warms the cockles of Frost's heart. Well, at least some part of him is warm. A trillion dollars is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, 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 I know. That's why I'm going to take my half and retire somewhere warm. What do you mean, your half? They didn't work this out ahead of time. Frost just assumed Freeze would play straight with him, and now he's not going to. Get it in writing, dude, and then he'll stiff you anyway, and what are you going to do, call the cops? But I am the boss, and I make the rules. Wrong. You break the rules, and that's why you're going to jail. Frost, do your thing. Okay, Robin. Execute plan A. Check. Come on, come on, what are you waiting for? Somehow they've reversed the polarity. Freeze doesn't grasp what that means. He grabs the ray and fires. Wow! Oh, oh, it's hot. That's right, Freeze. And we're gonna let it melt this whole place to the ground unless you give up. That's right, they'll melt the entire northern polar ice cap and flood every coastal city on the planet to catch you. Now just stay right where you are, Professor Frost. I got you covered. Oh, oh, don't worry. I'm not moving from this nice, warm spot. Freeze also has a half-track snowcat, and he's trying to escape in it. We have only one chance, Robin. The bat skis. Ready, Boy Wonder? Contact Batman. Go for it. They have now used those at both poles. If he ever decides to market them, that'll make a phenomenal commercial. Since they're jet powered, they were barred from competing in the Olympics. I don't know why Mr. Freeze is such a hard character to play properly. We had three equally terrible performances in the live action series. Mr. Freeze in The Adventures of Batman had the personality of a stump, but his accent was decent. This guy, we have a good look into his greed as well as his mad on for Batman, but his accent is worse than Eli Wallach's if such a thing were possible. Arnold got the character, the accent, 
and the post-crisis on Infinite Earth's background and motivation, but the lines he was given... I can't come up with an adequate description for how bad they were. Why is this so difficult? I don't get it. So give me your thoughts. Why is Mr. Freeze such a hard character to present? I'm Irving, and I'm still an Adamaniac.